Hello guys, it's Robert, an ambassador for Christ. And as you know where I go, the kingdom goes. Remember, eat the fish and spit out the bones for some things you may agree with and some things you may not. It's going to be deep. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be crazy, right? Now listen, prophecy about um, LBTG. Is that what it's called? LBTG community, all right? Prophecy. Check this out. It's going to be deep. It's going to be powerful. Now I was on Facebook. I was on Facebook the other day and, they was, and some woman was going crazy. Woo! She was... Dropping, dropping the F-bombs everywhere. She was swearing. She was going ballistic. She was saying how um, we have you have paedophiles and how um, they're going, they've been going to court for their crimes. But there's been lawyers that have been um, saying that it's a it's a mental health issue. You know, that, that, that you know what I mean? It's not their fault. And, and some of them are being let off, okay? But they was also speaking how the LBTG are going are, are championing their cause. All right, championing their cause because we know the LTBG they represent you know um, different sexual lifestyles. Okay, and there's more letters being added every day. Gender neutral, gender neutrality, and all this stuff. All right, so the woman was going crazy saying, "Hold on!" But they're teaching this stuff inside school. So you're trying to tell me that when the paedophiles now become part of the LBTG um, community, they're going to be teaching that in the schools. Now, my brother said to me last year, my brother said this to me last year. He said, you know what, Robert? He said that there's going to be a backlash against this community. There's going to be a big backlash where people are not going to be um, receiving or they're not going to be backing it anymore. They're going to be going crazy about it and they're going to be anti it and they're going to be going crazy over the movement. And this is the reason why, okay? It's going to be powerful, it's going to be deep. See, what it is is that in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned, God had to give a prophecy, all right, of a saviour because God knows that if there's no saviour to save mankind, mankind will be doomed. Why? Because when it comes to sin, sin um, gets bigger and bigger and bigger, worse and worse and worse, and it doesn't bear any fruit, and then it dies. It just it implodes. Okay, we can see this with the Roman Empire, for example. They had so much Im sexual immorality, idolatry. You can see it through all the different nations of the world where they went into idolatry and all this stuff. The whole society always imploded and went downhill. So what am I saying? See, with that community there, what happens is, is that they begin to, it begins to absorb all forms of sexual immorality um, across the world. So you'll have the paedophiles with them, then you'll have the bestiality people with them, then you'll have the necro necrophilia, necro the necrophilias, ne is it necrophilia? People that's into necrophilia will be with them. And then the LBDG will be a long, long list of words. And basically what they will be doing is absorbing or attracting every single piece of sexual immorality across the world. They'll be absorbing it into that movement. And as they absorb it into that movement, because there's no fruit, it's only going to die. It will just it will burn out and self implode, and and it will just it will just die out. Now let me break this down a bit further for you. See, the backlash is going to happen when when um, all these different sexual um, groups begin to want to have a voice, and then society starts to receive it and say, "Oh, we've got to teach it in the schools." This is when you get your your your, your normal average Joe blogs who are, he's not he's not saved, okay? But the Bible says that we got they got their laws. Um, God's laws are written in their heart, meaning what? You know, they know not to kill, they know not to steal. Everybody is born with those automatically in their heart. I'm not saying they're safe, it's in their heart. Now, when they start to push this sort of, these sorts of paedophile lifestyle and saying there's nothing wrong with it, and they start to try to push it into the schools, and they start to push it out, and they start to have a voice, this is when your average Joe Bloggs is going to go crazy, because your normal Joe Bloggs, mother and father, or in America it's going to be Jane Doe, or in, in Croydon, it'll be my man. <laughs> Hold tight, my man. <laughs> Listen, so your average your average Joe family who has a child is going to be going, no, I'm not having any of this. No, you're not teaching that in the school. No, I'm not bringing my child to, te to, to, to hear that. No, no, no. And there'll be a backlash. When bestiality is, is going to be embraced, there's going to be a backlash because, like I said, your average Joe or, you know, average person is not going to be having any of that because, you know, when there's a line that's crossed, they say, okay, homosexuality, okay, cool. General neutrality, okay, cool. All right, okay, teach that in schools. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Pedophilia, pedophilia, we're teaching that in schools. Bestiality, we're teaching that in schools. No, 
there will be a big massive backlash and that's when we're going to get this sort of uh, like a revolution going to happen and the whole and everybody will be anti it I'm telling you right now, that's what's going to happen. And like I said, because there's no fruit, it's just going to go downhill. And nobody's going to be pro that lifestyle anymore. They're going to, it's going to die out. I, I, I guarantee you, I can tell you it right now, it, it can't. See, sin always dies. <laughs> sin will always, anything that's in the sin will die. Or like the Bible says, um, by one man's sin, sin entered into the human race and all have sin and come short of the glory of God. So because people are born into sin, they end up... Um, end up with a death sentence if i can say and end up going to hell unless they get born again all right so it's the same thing anything that's a, that's what the bible says to flee evil the bible says to leave wickedness keep away from it why there's no fruit in it because there's no fruit in it it's going to die because it can't reproduce it can't bear fruit it can't build nothing up it can only die do you know what i mean so a destructive lifestyle goes downhill so that's what's gonna that is like a bit of a prophecy give it a like about five ten years or i tell you when the pedophiles start to have a voice and the lbtg start to embrace that because that's where they're going to be attracted to all these like i said alternative lifestyles will be attracted to the lbtg that's where you're gonna, they're going to be attracted to and what's going to happen like i said there'll be a backlash because your average joe not just the church i'll talk about your average joe is going to go he's going to go crazy and say no my my i've got my kids are inside the school you're not teaching that there i'm pulling my child out i'm against that because people People are not going to be pushed aside like when it comes to those sort of things. There's a line. I'm telling you, everybody has a line. Society has a line. And what will happen is that there'll be a backlash and then the government will no longer want to be near it anymore. They're going to distance themselves. And that's what, exactly what's going to happen. Anyway, we'll soon see. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It was a thought that I had the other day. Anyway, it's all about the ambassador for Christ. And as you know, I go to Kingdom Girls. Remember, eat the fish and spit out the bones and pray for that community. See the LBTG community? We need to be praying for them. Pray for that community. Ask God to send revelation understanding so people can turn from their wicked ways and turn themselves and turn their eyes onto the Lord Woo! and repent of their sins in the name of Jesus. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed, all right?